Today we're going to take you on a hike that will stretch your legs without going into high elevation. From Interstate 10, exit Highway 62 towards Yucca Valley. After approximately five miles, turn left on Mission Creek Road and follow this dirt road up to the gate. Good morning. I'm Kat. And I'm Kev. And we're your wilderness wanderers, and today we are heading to the San Gregonio Lookout in the Mission Creek Preserve. Here we go. The Mission Creek Preserve and the Whitewater Preserve both belong to the Wildlands Conservancy. The Wildlands Conservancy was very important to get the Santa Snow National Monument established. And if you look at this map in, this, in the wilderness, all of these green areas belong to the Wildlands Conservancy. And we're down here in this area right here, which is both the, the Mission Creek Preserve and the Whitewater Preserve. Can sign in today. Might as well do that. Here we go. This is a historic site of great interest. Many people believe it was built by the California Conservation Corps, which is incorrect. It was originally a cattle ranch and later became a dude ranch. It was very popular with the Hollywood set before Palm Springs became the in place to visit. There's a link to an extremely well-written article in our description. Oh, uh, Kevin's just uh, warming himself by the fire. <laughs> so at one point this was a dude ranch. And people would come out here hunting and, and horseback riding and they had lots of horses out here. You can imagine tables all the way out here where people sitting and having their breakfast and coffee in the morning. Once you leave the old dude ranch, it's a one and a half mile hike to the Stone House. If you'd like more information on the Stone House, you can watch our video. It's number 25. You can also visit the Conservancy's page. The San Andreas Fault runs right through Desert Hot Springs, just down the hill from here, all the way to Mexico, to the Sea of Cortez, from there all the way to the San Francisco Peninsula, and then out into the Pacific Ocean. It's one of the largest faults in the world. Seems like we're doing the Whitewater Pacific Crest Trail hike in reverse. We are, but only to a point. As you know, we started out at the Mission Creek parking lot, made it to the Stone House, had a good chat with the ranger there, nice young man. Now we're gonna break new trail, go north, and go up to the Sangagonia lookout, and hopefully some great views of Sangagonia. So we're back on the part of the trail that we did. Uh, when we went over the white water, uh, over the ridge, and down here to the stone house. Pretty sure I just said all that. But it looks different in the morning. <laughs> Certainly warmer. I wanted to show you this rock. Not because it's anything special, but I wanted to give you some idea of size, and it's pretty heavy. And as we go further up the wash here, I'll tell you a funny story. During a trip to High Meadow Springs last summer, I picked up a beautiful piece of quartz about the same size as that rock, meaning to take it out and take a photograph of it once we got to camp. Needless to say, I forgot. And two weeks later, I lugged that same rock to the top of San Gagonio by mistake. If you've ever hiked above 11,000 feet, you'll know that every ounce counts. It's funny now. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button, and the notification bell. folks on our whitewater hike we went back that way four and a half miles over that ridge and back to whitewater today we're gonna go this way we've joined the pacific crest trail again just 1.2 miles up to the lookout hopefully we'll get some great shots we've come almost four miles at this point but here's our yellow blaze 
So you know you're on the Pacific Crest Trail. I've never been up here in my life, but for some reason I want to say we're going to go that way. At this point, Kev realised that we were heading too far up the Pacific Crest Trail and that we'd missed the cutoff for the Overlook Trail. As you can see, there is no sign for these cutoff, just these rocks. It is approximately 500 yards to the east from where we intersected the PCT and the Mission Creek Trail. GPS says it's this way. Does this look like a trail? Our new GPS says it's this way, and it does look like a trail, yes. You come about a quarter mile or so off the PCT. Got about a mile or so, mile, mile and a half to the end of this trail here. <laughs> we'll have some good views, hopefully. Here we go. Really glad we have our long pants on because this trail, as you can see, it's easily identifiable as a trail, but definitely not highly trafficked. So we would recommend long pants or at least long socks if you do want to wear shorts because it's a beautiful day. We dropped into a small wash for lunch and assumed that as we could see San G, that this was the lookout. There is no signage to tell you that you've arrived. So we're gonna go a little further. I think we're going into Catcaw Flats. And then there's an area that Kevin wants to go to that is a, we think an anthropological site. What's the anthropological site that we're hoping to get to? Wait the landing. Wait the landing, there we go. We're certainly glad we came a little bit further because Although you can see Sanji, we have definitely made it to what I would say is the lookout now. Yeah, there's the Whitewater River right down there. Oh, look guys, Kev's right. That is the peak of Sangagonio, and we are all the way back here on this ledge. We did say it wasn't signposted when you get to the lookout, but you pretty much can tell when you're here because if you keep walking, you're gonna fall off a ledge. Talk about stretching your eyes. Rosie, if you're watching this, we've been stretching our eyes. Rosie's my mom in the UK. She used to tell us when we were kids, go out and stretch your eyes. As we were running out of daylight, we couldn't make it to Waither Landing. That will have to be another hike. Before starting back, we headed over to a small saddle west of the lookout to check out the view from there. From this vantage point, we could see down to Whitewater and all the way to San Jacinto. We had a great time hiking up here in the Mission Creek Preserve, all the way to the San Gorgonio Lookout. It's an awesome day. We're on our way back now. So we're going to now go back down the PCT and join the Mission Creek. talked to the ranger earlier and apparently if you make a reservation you can get a key to the gate and that you can bring your party up here and have a camp out he says you can you can camp here with with your friends if you want to heading on down the creek probably about 15 more minutes if that down this trail but here we go back at the big gate. Kevin and I think probably only one of these locks actually locks it because you can get a permit to come through and I can't imagine you having to unlock all of these locks to get in. We hope you enjoyed this hike to the San Gregorio Overlook. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, the notification bell, and the like button. Our next hike is in Palm Springs, up the Murray Canyon. From Cat and Kev, your wilderness wanderers. We'll see you on the trail.